Hard to complain about how beautiful this place is. The scene behind me right now, whew, it's amazing. Uh, I'm so glad to be back out in the desert, hanging out with Wasatch Will on this trip. And currently we are on the Boulder Mail Trail headed to Death Hollow. And uh, just so excited to finally be doing this route. It's last weekend in August, it's warm, and I just couldn't be happier to be out here right now, it's it's so pretty. I mean, look at this scene behind me right now. Ah, let's do this. Well, we're at a point where we're trying to figure out what we need to do because it's 8 p.m. We didn't start hiking until 5.20 p.m. So done about five and a half, almost six miles. And we're probably just gonna camp somewhere up here on top of the Slick Rock and then drop into Death Hollow in the morning. So that's likely the plan, but we gotta figure this out. Do this thing. I'm taking the pack off once today. <laughs> I don't think I've taken it off since the trailer. Well, good morning. It is Saturday, day two. Had a very warm night of sleep last night. I slept most of the time halfway out of my quilt. So I don't think it got lower than 70 degrees last night. Like it was very warm, but still comfortable. We had a slight drizzle that started at about 5 a.m and we took the unnecessary time to put the rain flies back on the tent. Wasn't worth it. <laughs> so, gonna get some breakfast made and then we're gonna get packed up and get down into Death Hollow and do the full length of Death Hollow today and just enjoy a beautiful, beautiful canyon.
we have made it down into Death Hollow. As you can hear, trudging in the water. This is really nice. The water is not as cold as the last time I was here. Now, if you remember or pay attention, I've only been through the bottom section of Death Hollow. I've not done the route that we're doing today. So, excited to be here. Just watch what I'm doing. <laughs> if you know, you know. Here we go. <laughs> Poison Ivy Forest. Oh gosh. Oh, I didn't like this. Oh, I don't think I'm immune to it. The back of my hand's feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit of a stingy. We are making our way super close at this point to the narrowest section of Death Hollow, which means we only have about two and a half miles left of the canyon itself before we're at the confluence with the Escalante. And I can't wait to drop the pack and take a dip. It is August, it's warm but I couldn't think of a better time to be down here because it's only about 84, 85 degrees based on what my watch is telling. And it's really nice. So getting excited for this section because this is, this is why you come to Death Hollow for what we're about to see. And it's been kind of a slog up to this point, but what do you think, Will? How's it going for you? I'm excited. It's been on my bucket list for quite a few years now. So <laughs> knowing that the best is just around the corner here, it's I'm ready for it. Yeah, I'm super psyched that he and I were able to make it work this weekend. And then looking at the weather it just turned into like the prime weather opportunity. So let's do this. so awesome to have like the ability to kind of refresh 
and just get back to feeling good after doing all those miles today and it's kind of a slog through some of these sections and so it feels feels awesome to be able to just refresh yourself like that so had a nice lunch and we've got about I don't know just over two miles to get to the confluence and my favorite and the best section of this canyon is right up ahead so can't wait I just like, I'm in paradise. This is so good. Getting close to the confluence. Made it through the crux on that narrow section. Now we're just, uh, I don't know, a mile and a half from the confluence and then another four miles of walking to Sand Creek where we're gonna sleep tonight. It has been very apparent that there is a whoop, down to my knees. A large group, several groups camped at the confluence. So we're gonna avoid that because I like to have my peace and quiet. Had a pretty slow going day today, but we are just a couple hundred yards from the confluence of Death Hollow and the Escalante River, and could not be happier to have that in front of us because whoa, today has been kind of a long day. <laughs> we started at 8.15 this morning, and I'm gonna say probably about seven miles from where we camped to the confluence and then we have another four miles, like I said earlier, to get to 
where we have planned to camp tonight. So, knowing that, it's 4.15, it's been a long day. But, what an incredible, incredible and beautiful place. Just so happy to finally check that off the to-do list. Whew. Okay, let's do this. Finally, to the Escalante River, which from down here at this point is only a river because of that hollow. Whoa. Oh, I almost died. Well, made it into camp, got the tent halfway set up, <laughs> but we've got a beautiful campsite. It's not as spectacular as last night was, and I knew that coming in because I've camped at this spot uh, once or twice before, and it's just a nice place to be before you have your last day and you take out, uh, we've got two and a half miles from here to where the highway is, finish getting set up, and then get some dinner going and just enjoy uh, the beautiful evening that it is. It's incredibly beautiful down here. If you ever get a chance to spend any time in the Escalante area of Utah, this is a must-see destination. It uh, is worth every bit of effort that, that it takes to enjoy some of these, these canyons and the river and everything down here so with that let's enjoy the night Good morning, my friends. It's nice to be up with a beautiful setting. Slept really good last night. Normally I have to get up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. Not the case for this time, <laughs> which always means that I have slept really nice. So, day three. Back to the car, let's do this thing. Camp is all packed up. We are getting ready to get on the trail. Have a short hike out today. It's probably gonna be, I don't know, no more than two hours for us to get back to the car, which is uh, taking our time if we do that. <laughs> but it's been an incredible trip. We've got some great sights to see on the way out that uh, we'll quickly show you, but near the end of this amazing time that we've had out here. All right, my friends, we are going to call it quits for this trip. We've got just uh, about a mile, mile and a half, almost two, I don't know, something like that to get back to the car. And uh, I've just had a fantastic weekend, just a very enjoyable weekend hanging out with Will. It's great to be back on the trail with Will because uh, the last time we were together was last year, uh, like 14 months ago when we did the Pleasant Creek Trail on Boulder Mountain. So nice to be out together again and just have a great, great weekend. I'm gonna be back down here in two weeks on the Escalante River with uh, a special guest. We've got Dan Becker coming into town. 
Hi, Dan. <laughs> Dan and I are gonna hang out and uh, it's gonna be a, a good time. So thanks for hanging out, Will. My pleasure, man. <laughs> Glad this worked out. It's good stuff. So we will catch you on the next video, whatever that is, but subscribe if you guys are not. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.